Okay, so we see this process where we have an idea now of whether or not we're thinking something that's true or we're thinking something that's a lie. We get a glimpse of, oh, when we know that's occurring. However, the next question is pretty simple. How do we stay over here and not over here? Well, Paul gives us a great insight into this. In Romans 12, 2, he says this, Be transformed by renewing your mind. Be transformed by renewing your mind. Huh. That's a pretty strong word, transformed. And it kind of goes back, doesn't it, to Matthew 28, 19, where it says, go make disciples. Yeah. He gives us this insight that says it really is about this transformation process. It's really about what we think, about what goes on in our minds that leads us down this path. You know, not too long ago when Courtney, my my second daughter, was about 11, she kind of walked down this path with me. You know, I walked into the house, and Jenny says this, You deal with her. And then Courtney simply stomps down the hallway. So I say, Courtney, come here. So she comes in, hops into my den, and I simply say, what's going on? I'm mad. Okay. You're mad. Well, what are you thinking? And she says, like every 11-year-old would say when the parents ask him, what are you thinking? I don't know. That's right. I don't know. And I said, well, you've got to be thinking something. What are you thinking? She says, I'll never get my spelling words right. I'll never get my spelling words right. And then I asked her, is that true? And what did she say? Well, yes, it's true or I wouldn't have said it. Now, do you think that's true? No. No. Absolutely not. (coughs) (coughs) So I asked Courtney, how long is never? Oh, hundred years or so, probably. I said, so you don't think you'll get your spelling words right in, oh, a hundred years? Well, maybe. If I practice. Well, how long? How long do you think? Oh, if I practice, maybe a couple days. Right? Isn't this how it works in real life? Yeah, okay, a couple days. All right, so you practice them? Maybe a couple days. Yeah, probably. So what's Courtney do? She skips out of my den. Skips right past Jenny, and Jenny comes stomping into my den. What is the deal with this? What would you do to her? She's skipping out. She's fine now. So what did I say to Jenny? What are you thinking? No, I'm just teasing. Right? Okay, so we have this path that Courtney went down, and it looks something like this. She identified the unhealthy emotion, and in her case it was mad. She then identified... the unhealthy thought or the lie. In other words, if what she's thinking is creating this outburst of anger, we know it has to be what? A lie. Okay. And then all we did was change this thought that was a lie 
into the truth. So here we identify the truth, the thought that's true. And then what does Paul tell us to do with that truth? Be transformed by renewing. So it's not a matter of, oh, I got it, it's over. But renewing is this process over and over and over again. I have to like drown my mind in this truth, in what's real. Philippians 4.8 gives us, oh, kind of an insight into what this is all about. Whatever is true, whatever is noble, think on these things. Right? And as we look at that verse, it kind of takes on a different meaning now, doesn't it? It kind of has some light to it that it didn't have before. 